You're watching Dendi Family Car. Good evening, this is Kampak Daddy from Japan. Today I'm gonna show you the test drive chapter of 2022 Honda New Civic. Let's find out the nice family car together. Now, this new Civic. In the previous chapter, I've got an impression that futuristic remake of a classic taste. The living space was also well thought out. When I drive this, I found some features were not typical of Civic. So, I'd like to review this view from a daddy's standpoint. Okay, let's take a test drive right away. The car I received this time was EX Grade 1.5 liter 4 cylinder VTEC turbo engine with front wheel drive. Getting in. When door closes, it becomes very quiet. Mm, nice. Then start the engine. Ignite! I like this simple animation projection. The speed meter is a full 10.2 inch digital display. I wish it could show the navigation map too, but cannot. The display is very easy to understand, such as which sensor is working and which seatbelt is fastened. It can be simple button operation, make it easy to handle while you're driving. Now it's time to go. My first impression when it moves on, it's like driving a premium luxury car. I'll tell you more about this details of the feel later. First, let's pick up a few points about the utilities. The placement of SIF knob. It's slightly tilted toward the driver, and the cup holder is on the passenger side, so you can put your hand comfortably without the bottle hitting your arm. When switching between normal, sport, and econ drive mode, a visual image is displayed, making it very easy to understand. You can see what's going on, not just by reading the text. Next, the visibility. The eye point is standard height, no wipers are visible, and the view is horizontal and clear. The bonnet line is not much visible, so little difficult to get a sense of the front nose. By the way, the window washer is sprayed from the wiper. What a luxury made! But Honda, you're not getting this message to your customer. The rear view mirror is quite standard and does not have a digital in the mirror, which is so popular these days. As I mentioned in the previous chapter, the rear view was fine. But I wonder when they will start using the digital mirror, which were already used in the electric car, the Honda E. I think this Civic with this improved quality is just right for this. Hmm. The steering wheel is just the right size, and of course the leather wrapping is nice and smooth touch. The steering feel is smooth and silky like rounded edges. It has very comfortable flavor. However, this front wheel drive and petrol engine model, the front head moves nicely quick and fun to drive. But it is front wheel drive for better or worse. You may feel a little lightness in the rear end, but more than enough to hold on to though. The EHEV means hybrid model with its rear weight road, including the battery, may be the true essence of this car. <laughs> I may have given you the impression that it's not very good, but the body frame is so solid. So people who can use this in daily life and drive carefully have no complaints at all. On the other side, the manual model may have better body balance because of its lighter front end. The throttle and brakes are easy to adjust, reacting a little when you step on them a little. The initial braking is not too strong, but if you step on the brakes hard enough, they work well. It has the 1.5 liter VTEC turbo engine, and it has improved a lot. Between the response to the throttle and the engine sound have almost no time lag. It's like a sense of human and horse unity. I mean, it's quite well tuned. I'm sure the driver can feel the full enjoyment. It's a very Honda-like product. Dandy! Even if you can't break the spell of the old days VTEC sound, try this for yourself. Then if you cannot satisfy, wait for the Type R. 
Now about the ride feeling. The ride is solid and as comfortable as a large sized car, and high speed stability is quite good. The wheelbase is 27 and 35 mm, so 3.5 cm longer than previous Civic. However, the minimum turning diameter is 5.7 m, which seems to be sacrificed in favor of turning performance. The previous was 5.5 m. The Civic, as its name shows, was a basic car for citizens. But it seemed to have been designed for the American market, where long-distance driving is the norm. Mm, in a small country like Japan, people may not like this, probably. 5.7. Mm. Swing swing time. Swing swing. <laughs> it moved quite quick and accurate. The rigidity of the body was increased by 19%. The structural glue, which is a recent trend in the automotive industry, is used 9.5 times longer. There is nothing to say about the rigidity of the framework. In addition, this car equipped with Agile Handling Assist means turning support system that automatically control the brakes during the cornering. This technology is similar to Mazda G-Vectoring Control, it also makes rear seat ride much more comfortable. <sighs> okay, next is the noise level. Sound deadening is really, really amazing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I can't believe it's made from Honda. The same kind of noise reduction process in the bezel means HRV. Fill the frame with sound absorbing form. This is a world basic car, right? It's like a premium car now. Which is nice for fathers who have a habit of running away alone into the car. The optional Bose premium sound system is highly recommended. It's really good. You see, the subwoofer is compact and does not occupy the spare tire space. Isn't this amazing? For the safety of your family, you should also check out the safety features. The so-called Honda Sensing System, which includes collision avoidance braking, missed departure control, and cruising control for all speeds, is available on all grades. Wonderful! One of the key features of this Civic is this traffic jam assist, a steering wheel assist function that operates at low speed. It's a nice feature for a family car where unreasonable order come from behind, such as I spilled my juice or my belt came off. <sighs> hmm, nice feature for a family car. The airbags are installed in eight locations: driver, driver's knees, passenger, passenger knee, side and curtain. Excellent. In addition, it has pop-up hood system to reduce damage to the pedestrians. That's a lot of effort. But Honda, the customer doesn't know that maybe. The NCAP means new car assessment program crash test results have not been released yet in August 2021. As a reference, the rating of the previous generation are shown. It got 4 stars, not 5. I am hope to see some improvement this time. Now the test drive is finished. Thank you. Finally, to summarize, this new Civic, the world's basic car. It had the flavor of premium car, but it was also sporty enough to live up to the name of B-Tech. Although the Civic start to get lost around the 7th or 8th generation, but learning from the past, this Civic was basic car for people in the old days, and it has been successfully harmonized with the modern style. Just follow your feel. If we focus on the weight balance, the EHEV or Type R model may be the real deal. But the right and enjoyable engine feel and the nice touch manual transmission are just some of the advantage of this model. If you want one, now is the time to buy. High-level family car. 
Even with the hatchback style, the rear seat space and luggage are spacious. But when you take the wheel, it is so sporty that it makes you laugh. It's a highly leveled family car. However, it looks compact hatchback, but the price and small turning performance are not so great. Hmm. So I guess this car would fit to the father who loves Civic all over the world. It's a nice dandy family car, isn't it? If I would find a fitting word, it is a remake Civic. Now, what do you think? The new Honda Civic test drive. It was an attractive car with modern style and the essence of good old Civic. Even if you became a dad, please write that you think we'll be cool car. Thank you for watching and sorry for my confusing English. I'm trying to improve my English in this channel. But if you like this video, please subscribe. Now to daddies and mummies around the world, good job today! See you in the next video! Bye dude!